Hello, dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is a quick tip on um, what team flows are. And uh, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction about team or shared flows. So uh, let's say you work on a flow and you want to share it with your colleagues. Then there are a couple of options you can do. Uh, you can give your colleague permissions as an owner or co-owner. You can e add either a single person or a group there. And if this person becomes a co-owner of the flow, then these are some of the options that they can do first. They can delete the flow. They can modify the flow properties. They can modify actions uh, in the flow and conditions. And also they can view the flow history. So this is the particular thing you should know about uh, sharing your flow with others and give them permissions as a co-owner. Then there is one option to share your flow with a run as user. It means that the user will only be able to run the flow, but not to modify it. And uh, the third, last but not least, option is to copy the flow. So you basically just copy it and uh, it, it's a totally separate flow that you um, share it with, uh, um, you know, so basically you share a copy, not the actual flow. And uh, let me go back to the uh, center here and just so you get an idea of what to do. You see I have a couple of flows here and uh, let see if I want to share it. I just select it and then I go to share and you see I can uh, add a user group as owner. So this user will become a co-owner in my case and uh, the user will have access to the connections, to, to embedded connections. Uh, and also where is a run add as user? Uh, run as is it's not accessible from here so it if we go back uh, just a second uh, from here I can give a per uh, option to run only users right so owners will be listed in this section and run only if I click on edit then I can put a name to uh, do so for example I can share it with a company or I can share it with a specific person and uh, uh, let's see provided by run only user this will be the connection that is used uh, to Office 365 Outlook and now I have one user as the owner and one as a run only user also it's possible to do you see uh, send a copy and then I can send a copy to the flow to a specific person and then they can uh, basically create this flow and use it as a copy. This is totally uh, separate. So it's a good practice to have um, a co-owner here. Let's say if I leave the company or something like this, then the other person will have access to the flow and uh, also if uh, that happens, for example, if my user is gone, then the connections have to be fixed. So they have to be adjusted in the flow. And that's something to, to keep in mind. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day and stay healthy. Bye bye.